Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, why I'm sat here doing nothing waiting for my Tesco shop, I thought I would take the time to talk about the main people that I used to watch on YouTube that I will probably not, never watch again, and I'll give the reasons why. Before I start, I'm not disrespecting any of these YouTubers. They're very successful. They have very, they have a lot of subscribers. Like I'm talking millions of subscribers and obviously what they're doing is work for them but it just put me off and I will tell you why it's put me off so the first one that I'm going to mention is Logan Paul now these people you might have heard of because they're quite popular youtubers but again I won't watch them again and this is why so with Logan Paul I will never watch him again because he created a video um, and published it onto YouTube so thousands and thousands of people could see that he went into Japan's famous forest which is called the Suicide Forest. It does actually have a proper name but I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. I will put it on the screen or I will put it below um, of the actual name of what it's called. But So he recorded him and I think a couple of friends going into the forest because a lot of people do go there to just kind of check it out but like 99% of the time you go there, you're gonna see a hanging body because it's a, su it's a suicide forest is what people go there for. And most of the time it is where people hang themselves off the trees. It's what the forest is known for. So if you go there, you go in there to see a body pretty much. Um, and Logan recorded him going in, which is fine. But when he saw a hanging body, he thought it'd be funny to show, um, you guys and he didn't blur it out at all and like some of these people that have hung themselves they their families may like they may not know that that person has hung themselves yet they may not have been found and i just think it's really disrespectful for someone that's so big or anyone really to go and film it and then laugh at it because suicide is a very strong subject it's very hard and difficult and upsetting and for someone like that to go and laugh at their hanging body is just so disrespectful so I will never watch him again he did put up a sorry like an apologizing video but I just don't think that's enough like you laughed at a hanging dead body that that person's obviously gone through enough and I just think that's just so much. So I thought I'd get the first one out of the way because that's quite a deep reason why. And I'm pretty sure you might have heard that. But yeah, if you don't know the story, then it is on YouTube. Um, not the actual body because that's been taken down now. Um, that video, it's been blurred out and censored. Like it should have been done anyway. It's just sad that they had to do it for him, which is just ridiculous. But anyway, moving on, the next person that I used to watch, like, regularly, like, religiously, is um, Bethan Ledley. She's known on YouTube as Musical Bethan. Now, I used to watch her all the time, and the reason why I don't watch her anymore is just because it's kind of like she's faded. She doesn't really make channel. she doesn't really make videos anymore. Which is really sad, because I did really like her content and stuff, it was just like, as you can tell by her name, Musical Bethan, she wrote her own songs, very talented. And then she just went on for to a TV career where she hosted, I think it was like the MTV Music or something. I think she still does have a channel and does make videos sometimes, but just not as regularly as she did. So it kind of put me off a little bit because she was so like onto it and then she just kind of faded away. Um, but yeah, no disrespect to her at all because she was amazing and I'm pretty sure she still is. Um, so another one I'm going to mention is... Who have I got on my list? I'm just looking here because I've got my list here. Um, is Kira Bridget and her boyfriend Morgs. I think that's what it is on YouTube. Now these people really frustrate me because... You, if you just look at all their videos, you can tell that it's fake. Again, no disrespect to you guys, because whatever you're doing is obviously working. But it's just so, it's such a fake content, and you can tell that it's fake as well. So, 
if you guys want to check them out, check them out. That's fine. They've got thousands of subscribers. But it's just really fake. And you'll see what I mean if you went go on to their videos. And a lot of people have made um, videos like I'm doing right now. Mentioning them because they are just quite fake. Um, but yeah, each to their own. Um, so another one is actually second to last. Is the Ingham family. Now I used to watch these quite a lot. And I didn't watch them for very long. Maybe like six to eight months roughly. And I just stopped watching them because apparently Chris Ingham, which is married to Sarah Ingham, um, was really disrespectful to Sarah. She's going through a lot of... She went through quite a tough time with her pregnancy. She's currently still pregnant. Um, but he just really disrespected her by messaging young girls, trying to meet up with them. There was proof of this. And it's just... And then he made a story video, which just isn't enough. What about all these people that are scarred by you? And like, I'm talking, these are young girls, age like 14. They're still children. And he's a fully grown married man. And I just thought it was really disrespectful. So it just made me never want to watch him again. And um, which is sad because I do like their family. It's just, he's ruined it big time. And then the last on my list here is Alfie and Zoella. I loved Zoella so much, but I think... When she released her Christmas advent calendar, everyone just felt like they got mugged off. And again, the content just feels quite fake. Now, don't get me wrong, these people have made a life for YouTube. They've bought their house, they've bought their dogs, their work is YouTube. And again, no disrespect because they've obviously done something so good and so right. It's just a little bit fake sometimes and a lot of people do have gone off them because they've not really got a lot of content anymore but that's really it really and i just thought i'd make a video today because there's something else to do i need a video to go off my channel but if you like today's video then give it a thumbs up if you like if you want to see more of this kind of content then let me know below if you didn't like this video then let me know below why and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my my next video whatever that may be bye